Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. Well, fixing to do the first oil change on the 2019 Mitsubishi Mirage. And, uh, you know, if you buy one of these cars, you buy it for fuel economy because, you know, they're not much to look at. You know, they're, they're okay, but, you know, they're not very fast. They don't handle that great. But, uh, you know, you're buying it for the warranty. It's, you know, 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. And, you know, you want it to last and, and uh, you know, don't want to have any problems out of it. So, uh, I like doing my own maintenance. I don't really trust anybody to do it because I just don't. You never trust anybody anymore. Hell, you can't. You can't. And so, uh, whenever I change my own oil, uh, I uh, started using these drain plugs uh, probably, I guess, uh, a couple years back. And I've been using it ever since, and I have been thoroughly impressed with it. And I know what you're saying. Oh, that's just a drain plug. Well, no. No, it's not. It's it's called a dimple motor oil magnet drain plug. And I'll zoom in right there so you can see. Well, you ask yourself, what makes this drain plug um, so special? Well, on the end of the drain plug, it's got a rare earth magnet. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this and show you just how strong it is okay I've got a 3 8 ratchet right here you've seen it jerk that ratchet up off the table and I can pick it up that's pretty impressive huh what if uh look at that half inch drive I mean that's just crazy I mean it's I'm sitting here wiggling it and it's not gonna fall off now I can sling it off if I want to look right here this is a big boy look at those wrenches right there look how long this thing is that thing's probably 18 inches long at least that's a three-quarter inch drive ratchet for working on a you know a, a big truck you know I'm gonna take this little dimple motor oil magnet hook it onto the end and let's see if it'll I don't know if it'll pick up at an angle but I guarantee it'll pick up if I just lift straight up on it look at that look at that is that not ridiculous it, it finally fell off because I I slid it off accidentally let me put it back on here let me let me stand it up it's kind of hard to do one-handed But you guys can see, man, that thing weighs several, several pounds. It's super freaking heavy. I mean, it's just heavy just to pick up. So to, for that magnet to be that strong, to be able to pick that ratchet up, I mean, that's a huge ratchet. That thing's got to weigh <laughs> over five pounds, I'd say. And it's just solid steel. So imagine what this thing does to all the metal shavings that's in your oil pan you know it just picks them up and traps them on the end of the magnet and uh you know when it's time to change the oil then you just wipe the end of the the magnet off and i know what you guys are thinking oh well you know some vehicles have magnets on the the end of the drain plug from the factory well that's true but i guarantee you they don't have a dimple because uh these here are super super strong I have never seen another magnet uh, as strong as these and I know yeah it's nothing special it's just a rare earth magnet yeah I ordered some rare earth magnets uh, I believe they were like the N52 grade they were supposed to be like some of the highest grade strongest magnets uh, on eBay and yeah they were strong but they they didn't seem as strong as this they couldn't pick up that big old three-quarter inch ratchet right there so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and do the oil change on this and just bear with me and uh, so uh, make sure you check out their website the dimple motor oil magnets I'll put a link down in the description uh, these things probably cost around I'm guessing 25 30 bucks somewhere in there but uh, I've got one on my 2017 GMC Sierra and it's got the 6.2 in it and I swear by them I really do I, I swear by them because um, it really does trap a lot, a lot of, of shavings and, you know, it'll make you sick whenever you change your oil. You're like, oh, my motor had that much oil shavings in it. 
And yeah, you'd be surprised if you had one of these uh, because it really does work that great. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a uh, reusable wool filter, check out those K&W Engineering. Aren't, yeah, K&W Engineering oil filters. I've got one on my truck as well, and it also has a, a rare earth, earth magnet on the filter. But anyways, stay tuned. Uh, I've got it already up on uh, ramps, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop underneath there and, and uh, pull the plug on it. All right, guys, so I'm up underneath the car now. Got my drain pan there up underneath. Then you'll notice right here on the passenger side, you can see that that's the oil pan, and then there's your drain plug. Do not confuse it with the one on the driver's side with the uh, the drain plug that's right there, because that's for your transmission. So if you're changing your oil, remember on the Mitsubishi Mirage, the 2019 model, and some of the other models, the oil pan is right here on the passenger side all right guys well you can see that i've got the uh the oil uh draining and it takes a 17 millimeter wrench and you just want to uh just let it drain out till you know it's uh comes to a drip try to get as much out of it as you can and uh, that way it gets rid of all the old oil and uh, all the old contaminants out of there. And, and uh, you know, it don't hold very much oil. I'm going to go in and check here in a minute. But I believe it's around three, three and a quarter quarts, somewhere in there. And uh, so it don't, it don't take very much. But, uh, you know, the key is, is not to overfill it. Because if you overfill it, then you're going to build more pressure and start having leaks. And, uh, you know, if you don't put enough oil in there then well you're gonna have problems you know you could starve the engine of oil and what's it gonna do it's gonna blow up on you probably and uh, you know might, might ruin the bearings or in the engine so you know you always want to uh, keep the the oil level on this car checked because you know this car only takes like like I said three and a quarter quarts or around three and a quarter quarts of oil and uh, you know that's not much oil so you know, if you're a quart low, then <laughs> there's something to matter. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to give it just a few more minutes. You can see that it's just dripping right there. And uh, I'm going to wipe everything down, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and get the filter. I just uh, pulled the uh, oil plug out of the, the pan. And as you can see, uh, this stock uh, oil drain plug doesn't have a magnet on it. So it's just a, a plain old uh, drain plug that don't offer any kind of protection. And, you know, it does have a, a, a washer on it there. And so you can see right here is the, the dimple one. And uh, I believe it's made out of stainless steel. And like I said, it's got that strong magnet. And it comes with a washer as well. And I'm going to show you the package that it come in. Let me, there's the size. I called and confirmed it with them. It's an M14 by one and a half by 16. So, anyways. All right. Well, as you can see, I've got the new drain plug installed there. And uh, it's a 13 millimeter. Whenever you put the dimple uh, drain plug in, it's, a, it's got a different size uh, head on it. So it's a 13. So it's a lot smaller diameter than the uh, than the factory one and I kind of like that just simply because I can't get as much torque on it and you don't want to uh, torque it because you know you, you don't want to strip that out so I'm kind of guilty of tightening it on there a little too much but uh, that's why I like the smaller that smaller head it just seems like I can't get as much on it as I could with with the one with like the uh, the larger factory head on it so now after I got it torqued down, I'm going to go right up here, and you can see there's a notch right here in this uh, little splash shield. And the reason they put that notch in there is because you can see right up through there, there is the filter. And uh, I don't know, sorry about the shaky camera work, 
And you can see the filter right there, my finger's pointing at it. This right here is your, I guess that's part of, of your uh, heat shield or something right in here for the exhaust. And uh, so just be careful uh, when you reach your hand up there, it might be a little warm. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out of here and uh, go ahead and get it draining. All right, I just wanted to show you guys that this one has the uh, factory oil filter on there. It's the MZ690072, and that's the uh, Mitsubishi uh, factory oil filter for this. And uh, I'm going to replace mine with a just a cheapie. Now, the, uh, the ones I'm going to put on it is just a little cheapie from Walmart. It's the SuperTech 6607. You can see right there, and uh, it's not as long as the uh, the factory filter, so maybe I don't know if that the factory filter is uh, the right one for this vehicle, uh, but that's what the they had on it uh, when we did a, a factory oil change. So when we bought the car. So anyways, uh, so keep that in mind. So I'm sure you won't have as much uh, filter area as you know the SuperTech because it's not quite as big. But, you know, it is what it is. I got them for really cheap, and then I happened to look up and uh, got this oil really cheap. And I know you're going to bash me and say, well, you put a $30 drain plug in that car and put cheap oil in it. Well, uh, I got it for $3.50, and it's full synthetic. And uh, I know what you're going to say. Well, the car's supposed to take 020. That's right. Uh, but I found this. This is 016. It's so close in in weight that I thought, you know, it's not going to hurt it at all to put a 016. Uh, in fact, this oil here is for uh, most of your uh, Hondas and Toyotas, I believe. And you can see here on the back, it's a uh, full synthetic, and uh, so shouldn't have any any problems with it. Got it for three dollars and fifty cents for five quarts. And so, like I said, this thing only takes like three and a quarter quarts. So that's almost two oil changes for $3.50 and then a couple bucks for a filter. So you couldn't really beat that. And so, anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a little oil in the, the filter and get it screwed on. And then should be complete. All right, guys. Well, I drained the, uh, the oil pan, pulled the plug out, let it drain out. And uh, then I put the plug back in. And then I went ahead and uh, pulled the oil filter off and let the oil drain out of it. And then uh, once I pulled the filter off, I uh, made sure uh, where the surface area where it screws back onto was nice and clean and that there was no old gasket from the uh, oil filter still stuck uh, on the mating area where it screws onto. And then, um, then uh, finally, uh, went ahead and and put three quarts of oil in the uh, valve cover right in here and there's a, a little cap and you just take and put your funnel down in here and it's pretty cool because you can use the bigger funnels you don't have to use the little ones the bigger end one will fit right down in there fits in there nice and snug and then uh, you can pour the, uh, the oil right on in now it if you buy the oil like I do, just whenever you can find a deal, then sometimes you'll end up having to buy it in the five quart jugs. And it's kind of a pain in the butt because you don't know uh, how much oil um, you know, you're know you pouring out. And so uh, you can go to any thrift store and pick up just a, uh, uh, a measuring cup. And you, know, you just gotta remember that 32 ounces equals one quart of, of a fluid. So uh, I... Uh, was able to measure it all out. I think uh, the uh, factory fill for the uh, Mitsubishi Mirage is 3.1 or 3.2 quarts. So I just put three quarts in it. And since I'm putting a smaller filter than what was on the factory, I'm just gonna put three quarts in it. And uh, then I'm gonna check it and uh, see if it needs a little bit more. And if it does, then I'll put a little more in it. If it's fine at three, three quarts, then I'm just gonna leave it at three quarts. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, end the video. Uh, this video is not by any stretch of the imagination for uh, video quality. This was just to help somebody out if, uh, if you're a do-it-yourself or like myself and 
you know you hate paying people because you can't trust them and uh you hate for them to take take your money to do a simple task like this then then uh you know this video is for you so anyways i appreciate you watching and uh please like and subscribe to the uh channel and uh like i said check out the the dimple drain plug magnets and I'll try to link uh, some of my other uh, videos uh, to this one. And you can see uh, how I use the, the dimple oil magnets on my GM truck. And then also um, it'll show in the video uh, that I, how I use the uh, K&W engineering uh, oil filter. So um, both of those are really great products. They didn't pay me to say it. Uh, I'm just telling you because, you know, I've had really good luck with them. And when you see all the crap that comes out of your, your engine, all the metal shavings, then you're going to be shocked. So, anyways, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, thank you so much.